we were just kind of sitting around the couch and checking our phones and suddenly, oh, the NBA is canceled, the NCAA championships are canceled, NHL is canceled, and then we're getting sent home two days later. We all had no idea what to think. We didn't think it would turn into something like this. It felt like it would be something that would, that would blow over at first. And then slowly it never blew over. And that's when it kind of set in for me. Give me five words to describe Tyler. A hockey player shows up in there. I don't know, I wasn't ready for hockey to be over. Everyone no knows when their time is to hang them up. and. When that happens, I'll be fine with it, but just to have it feel like it might end so abruptly when I'm not ready for it too, that was, that was a scary experience for sure. My name's Marcus Gloss. It's Tyler Rotungua. Dylan Pavla. So my name's Philip Shader. I grew up in, in Austria, so I kind of got started at a very young age. I, I was on the ice when I was four years old. I really just picked it up and kind of learned to love the game. And um, through that, ended up uh, playing some stuff with uh, Team Austria and uh, going on a lot of tournaments and trips like outside of Austria. And that's when I, I like found a love for North America. I, that was always the goal, to kind of leave home to play hockey and, and go to school here. Hockey's been a thing in my family for a long time. My uncle Rod actually played in the 1960s Olympics. It's always been something that's been around, right, in pictures on the walls and stuff like that. When I got to age probably two or three, I was skating around. <laughs> My first game, uh, I was in Concordia, Wisconsin, and I remember just stepping on the ice for warm-ups and, you know, hearing the music, uh, looking over at the other team and thinking, like, oh, wow, like, I made it. This is college hockey. Well, when this all happened, there was just so much uncertainty. We didn't know. I remember being like, this will pass in like a month or two, like, we'll be fine, we'll get through it. And then, as it kept progressing, like, just even more uncertainty and more uncertainty. And no one thought that it would carry out this long, and so I was thinking, oh man, am I going to be able to get ice this summer so that I'm ready for the season? And then as things went on and on, I was thinking, oh man, am I going to even have a season? What's it going to do to senior year? Am I going to get to be able to play for Finlandia again? It was a big factor of like realizing that all of us were going through this together and have some camaraderie that way and still be a family to the extent that we could be. Gyms weren't open for the majority of the summer, so you had to find out other ways to do it, and it really came to show who was good at that and who wasn't. So it was almost like you're ready to go, but they're just not letting you play right now, so you, I, I don't think I've ever gone that long without playing a game, right, since I was a little kid. It got tough to like, stay on track and keep doing the things you need to be doing to get better. I tried to stick to doing stuff every single day, if it was working out or shooting pucks or stick handling. I got into rollerblading a lot. Obviously with rinks closed, just being able to, you know, get something close to skating on ice. Uh, we had a f concrete basement, so I just started skating in the basement because uh, there wasn't anywhere else I could skate. We played a lot of street hockey. I'd put the pads on and he'd just shoot, shoot pucks at me. and. I wanted to make sure, no matter what happened, I was ready to go. I used to play ro roller hockey when I was a little kid, so I got my, my roller blades fixed up and trying to stick handle and trying to just, it's almost like more about keeping your body in shape than to really work on skills. It's, it's kind of hard when you don't have any facilities, right? Personally, I picked up running, which I wasn't really ever a runner, so I, I did a lot of running just to like keep the conditioning up and that stuff. So. And I enjoy it now, I guess I would say. But at the end of the day, during, during the pandemic, you're still kind of on your own, so nobody can really, really do, do the actual work for you. To be on the ice with my teammates is just a great feeling. You know that when you go out there to battle, they're gonna be right there next to your side doing the same thing for you. 
I, I'm just looking forward to playing with all these guys. It's, it's easier to play with your brothers than it is your friends, so I'm going to know some of these guys for the rest of my life, and, um, and I really cherish that, so. Being on the ice with my teammates is just, like, that's my happy place. You know, if I'm having a long day of classes, if I've got a lot of assignments due, if, uh, you know, I'm getting really tired out from work, I just, I get to the rink and all that's gone. I just, uh, I can get on the ice, I can skate, I can laugh with the guys, um, push myself, and yeah, that's just, that's where I feel like I'm most myself. I think being part of the Finlandia community has really given me skills that I'm going to be able to take through life. Um, I think it's made me more responsible. Also just being around the guys, it's definitely made me more accountable. I'm not just here for myself anymore. I'm here for you know, 28 other guys who are pushing in the same direction. When hard things come, um, which they're going to, they never don't. Uh, you just have to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to understand that you're either going to persevere through it or you're not going to and that uh, the choice is kind of up to you. Battle through the adversity. Things are going to happen and not go our way, but it's all about how we deal with it and come out on top afterwards. Going into my last season, I'm excited. I haven't been this excited uh, for a season in a long time. I guess going into my last year, I just, uh, I want to make a difference. I know uh, when I got here, one of the big things Coach Burke I was preaching was leave the program better than you found it. And yeah, that's what I definitely want to do. I want to, I want to feel like I gave it my all. Um, you know, whether this is my last year of hockey or whether I keep going on after this, I just, uh, I don't want to feel like I left anything in the tank. You know, there's a lot of motivational things that I've heard along the way, but it kind of boils down to just this is my favorite thing in the world to do, and like, there's nowhere I'd rather be. Okay, a lot better effort. Just need to like pick it up a little bit as far as puck handling, catching passes, making plays. All right, F U one two one two F U.